Welcome to our first midweek message. Today we're going to talk about hope and listening. But before we move into that message, I want to give you an opportunity to hear and see what has been happening at the church these last two months. Some of you may not have been able to see the beautiful blooming of the church grounds. And some of you may not have been able to hear the chimes being played each day. So with the sound of the chimes, we show you some spring pictures of Country Club United Methodist Church. I invite you to watch and listen. May it bring you some joy today. for a brief message on hope and listening. I want to read from you the book of Psalms, the 62nd Psalm, verses 5 through 8. For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge, is in God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. What shall we as Christians say amidst the difficult and troubling times of this pandemic? How can we find hope and encouragement? The diverse voices of news and media are loud and contradictory, and confusion abounds. We are consumed by hearing anyone and everyone's opinion of what to do and how to think in the COVID-19 crisis. And yet the psalmist describes an uncommon posture. For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from Him. As I listen to all the TV and radio news and all the opinions being shared, I wonder if silence is ever practiced in this generation. For many of us, silence is merely the act of not speaking. But the Desert Fathers, a collection of third century monks, indicated silence was about listening to God. In our prayers, are we speaking more or listening more? What can be found in listening prayer? The psalmist indicates we can find hope and rest. The word hope in this verse means cord or rope. As we listen to God, we find God is throwing us a rope of hope to pull us into the future. If we embrace slowing down and stepping into silence with God, 
we will grow in our confidence of tomorrow's reality and take hold of hope. Furthermore, it's not just hope we find. We find God, the source of all hope, in our silence. The pictures of the church grounds we just saw are images of new beginnings. The trees and flowers blooming are a sign of the new beginning of spring. My granddaughter's picture on her two-month birthday is a sign of new beginning. The sign of Easter, He is risen, tells us of new life for all. The teachers being welcomed back to our Child Development Center is a sign of new beginnings of the opening of our economy. Perhaps we can think of these pictures as silent prayer. Just look at them and listen to what God is saying to us. To me, the message is clear. God is saying to me, I am in control here. I will continue to bring new life to the earth each and every spring. I will continue to bring new life to you. The coronavirus will not have the last word. I will have the last word. Trust in me, and I will bring you deliverance. For me, that is my hope and strength. I will wait for God in silence, listening for what God would say to me. Will you pray with me? O oh God, how anxious we often get when we look at the circumstances in which we live right now. We worry about what we are to do, what we are to say, and who it is we are to listen. And we listen to the experts around us who give us great information and wisdom that we desperately need. But as we do that, help us not to stop listening to you. Let us take time each day to hear what words you offer to us, because you are the source of our deepest comfort and peace and hope. Bless us with ears that can hear your still, small voice in the midst of the storm. In your redeeming name we pray. Amen. It was good to be with you today. And I just want to give you a little information about what is happening at the church. An in-person worship committee has been established as we look ahead to that time when we can get back together in person, probably sometime in June. But on that committee so far is Ken Starkey, Amelia Sorensen, and Susan Fershey. We'll look at what it means to get together in person and what we need to do to prepare for that. I'm thinking especially about perhaps having a prayer and hand washing service outdoors. We'll be letting you know as those things move closer. I did want to let you know that the Country Club Methodist Child Development Center has reopened and their expansion downstairs is complete. Upstairs, the expansion is on schedule and should be completed by July 1. I do invite you to join us on Sunday, our worship at 1045, with a Zoom lobby chat, chat immediately following. And I hope you'll join us for this midweek message each Wednesday. If you have any other questions or need to speak with me, send me an email at pastorkeith at countryclubumc.org. I wish for you a wonderful day.